It sounds like a dream. Retire, hit the open road, explore the country in a mobile home. Well, Clayton and his wife, Teresa, they dreamed of selling their taxi business and traveling in an RV. Five years ago, they bought a used semi-trailer and spent $180,000 creating a spacious home, which they call the Nomad Monster. <laughs> and we're going to give you a tour. We want to welcome the couple in now. They're joining us from British Columbia. Good morning, everybody. How are you finding Good yourselves night. in Western mm -hmm. Canada? Cold and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Cold and wet. <laughs> Sounds like Vancouver to me. Uh, I've been up there. So this is not an RV. This is not a mobile home. This is the Nomad Monster. It has a library. Yeah. It's got a full kitchen. It's got a movie theater. It's got a what? hot tub. Uh, I want to know, how did you get the idea to put this together? And then how did you put this beast together? Piece by piece. Um, yeah, I did a, a bus uh, many years ago, and we enjoyed that. But uh, um, not. Uh, we didn't have the time. Now we're re retired, and we have the time. And uh, we just uh, put it together piece by piece and as the budget uh, allowed. I want to know, uh, Teresa, did you give Clayton a honey-do list? Like, honey, I want the theater. I must have a library. Here's or was what this I want his in my full idea? Kitchen. He blueprinted it, and you said, oh, I am so happy to be married to you. <laughs> uh, the library was the one thing that I asked for, and the other thing, really, only thing was to separate the toilet room from the tub room. Oh, well, okay. with so That's many options, a toilet room, a tub room, a library, a hot tub, where's your favorite place to spend time? I like the library, and on cold mornings, I tended to go into the living room because it has the pellet stove. You have a pellet <laughs> stove. There's fire on this thing. This thing is fire. That's what That's the kids right. are saying these days. Yeah. Uh, are you ever get, getting tired of being on the road, or is this just still the dream that you thought it would be when you made this project happen? We, uh, well, we just knew at the Nomad Life, uh, we were out for about six months uh, just to see what works, what doesn't work. And uh, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah. So, okay. You're yeah. not you're not getting well, tired of it anytime soon. That's, uh, that's what it sounds like to me. And Clayton, this was important to you as well, to, to have a small carbon footprint. So how did you take uh, a semi truck and end up making a smaller carbon footprint? The, uh, the trailer is a 53-foot uh, trailer, as you can see on the screen, and uh, the whole roof is solar. And uh, you had a shot before the batteries, lithium batteries, um, so all of that. And we found that water is an issue, so uh, revamping things right Ooh. now and putting a whole uh, reverse osmosis filter system so we can filter the, the gray water and so we'll need less water. We'll recycle the whole water system. Um, and it's super insulated and run on solar and uh, recycled water. All right, we got to go real quick, but where do you park this thing? I got to know. <laughs> um, in the desert. Uh... <laughs> Clayton, is that the most romantic thing about this? I know we're running out of time, but is that so romantic that you get to just go everywhere with your sweetheart? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Aww, All right, well, Clayton it. and Teresa, we thank you very much for giving us a tour of your home because it is your home uh, and it looks like fun. Hope you guys have a great time out there and be safe. Bringing a new meaning to the word road trip. Yeah. All right. Road life. They were beautiful. It's not a trip, they it's a so, life. You know thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.